That I'm is not no right. way you can do all those styles with a closure. And it's just so natural. And I'm just sick and tired of Hey friends, and welcome back to my channel. If you are joining me for the first time, I'm Shanice. You think it's about time that I stop introducing myself? Like, I don't want y'all to get to know me. Anyways, so I did a commercial. So if you didn't see this commercial already, here you go. So that commercial that I did was for a local hair stylist. Her name is Jodi, but you guys probably know her as Perfectly Made by Jay. I've done talks about her hair on my channel before. I've done reviews, I've done styling videos. I really, really love this girl's hair late. And I think, power to black women in, in entrepreneurship, yeah, like, I just really appreciate her, her entrepreneurial spirit. So, this project, how did this project come about? So remember this video? Welcome, I'm Shanice, thanks for stopping by. And today I wanna to talk about this. Yeah. When I said this, her Instagram link down below so y'all can check out her hair if you wanna buy it. Again, this is not a sponsored video, but if you wanna collab with me in the future, hit me up, girlfriend, hit me up, okay? So I'll definitely see you guys in my next one. So she actually reached out to me. She's like, I'm always watching your videos. You're so good at what you do. And if you want to collab, let's collab. So that's how that came about. And I hit the ground running. As soon as she said, yeah, I was like, okay, ideas, ideas, ideas. So that I then asked her, hey, what do you want? Do you want a review like last time? Or would you prefer my craziness in the form of a skit? And she's like, a skit? And I'm like, okay, sis. The scripting process for me, because I didn't study theater or anything like that, it was, I won't say it was challenging, but it was it was fun, definitely it was fun. My first script I did, it was, it was good in my brain, and then it was like, no, you can do better. So then I hit up my girl Carrie. Who's Carrie? Carrie went to school with me. Feel free to call her. <laughs> Feel free to call. Okay. B, I like when you're at one point in there, it was late. like, what are you doing with your mouth? <laughs> so, we went to school together and she works in the same mall that I do. So, I saw her. I'm like, did I tell you that I love you today? I'm doing a commercial and I want you to be part of it. She's like, yeah, yeah, I'm down. Harry, she studied theater. She studied acting. She knows cinematography. <laughs> So I'm like, okay, sis. Remember DeVito, who did this video for me when he was stressing me out? This video? <laughs> he now wants to do videography, so I'm like, team created. Now, it was not that easy. I hit up other videographers and time constraints or whatever. It was like a no-go. So when DeVito was ready to come on board and Carrie was ready to come on board, I'm like, okay, let's set a time and let's go. So then this happened. <laughs> we are shooting a commercial. Say hi, DeVito. Hey, guys. Hey, hey. That's DeVito. Yeah, I think you got a nice voice. Yeah. That's Carrie. We actually shot after work. I think DeVito was off that day, so he probably would not have been that tired, but he had to work the next day. So did I, so did Carrie. So we're here at like 8.30, 9 o'clock, about to start filming. We're tired, but... I had to make sure my team was watered and fed so it's like good energy going into it. So yeah, we started. Take one was the white shot. Perfectly hit with J as take one action. We had to do it again. Cheese, if you didn't want to tell me you're here speaking, you're just gonna 
And again. Action. And again. Sound rolling. Take 12. Then we went on to individuals. For a moment when I went to LA. Shh. Shh. You're here. It's so soft. What did you put in it? My individuals were fine. What was my next one? Oh. What was my next one? Oh. Actually, let me give you all the proper term. We are almost done. I have to do individuals now. Our reverse shots, that's what they're called. <laughs> shot reverse shot. Shot reverse. Oh, shot reverse shot. Yeah. Yeah, so, so that's what we're about to do. Mm -hmm. Shot reverse shot. So that's what that's called. I only learned that recently because Carrie taught me, but... I've been calling them individuals because the bloggers that I watch, they, they call them individuals when I watch their behind the scenes. So I'm like, okay, shot, reverse shot. The singer, like, who else? Yeah, so Carrie's individuals. Go. Wait, I'm not ready. <laughs> <laughs> you could cut. It's, it's funny. It's <laughs> and I'm just sick and tired of. <laughs> I read it, I read it. No, okay. I swear to God, I laugh. Go. Wait, I'm not ready. <laughs> you could cut. It's funny. You could cut. This girl, all she does is laugh. Like, she's such fun. I really, I really appreciate her for coming on board, like, Carrie, see, she's such a dope actor, like, a really dope actor, she's really knowledgeable in, in her craft, and as much as she does not believe it, she's a great teacher, like, she's taught me so much in the short time that we filmed together, she taught me so much. Then DeVito, I really want DeVito to start anything, but DeVito was a really dope videographer, he was like, should I shoot in at this no, at this um focal length should i shoot in these well, many frames i'm like that's what I'm like um, i don't know um talk to gary i just want to try to make sure everybody's face is lit properly what is recording the video is taking this really really seriously like he's not even smiling i didn't i didn't get that the video how you feel about it i feel good fam yeah do a videographer right here i am sick i'm tired So that was fun. Like he was learning, I was learning. Carrie was teaching and laughing. <laughs> and laughing. <laughs> and laughing some more. <laughs> but it was all it was good energy. So when I when we finished, it was one o'clock in the morning actually no it was like 12 30 then i had to go wash my clothes for work wait what because i didn't have any work clothes so i washed my clothes for work and this is totally not relevant to the story but i'm just saying it because i want you guys to know that if you have a dream and you want to do something it does not matter your circumstances you can make it happen late you can make it happen i came home from work at like seven o'clock shot I, I filmed then i washed my clothes they weren't dried but i made it work but yeah like if you if you really want to do something just just go after it find a dope team go after it. i'm not telling you that a team is going to be easy to find because you know people have lives and whatever but as you start in your craft and what you're really really passionate about i feel like the right people will find you and that's what i felt happened in this situation i was actually gonna film this commercial as one of these and then i'm like you know what shanice this is a brand like although that would be good you can do much better like you can show your creativity way better and so that's what i did yeah so it was all it was all good no post-production post-production is it's my favorite. It was not my favorite in this time because I had audio to deal with, but that was okay. I feel as though the audio and being that it was not just me and I had so much 
so many takes and longer takes at that, it was kind of intimidating. So I kept like procrastinating like, oh my God, this is gonna take me so long. And I told Jodi, I told her, I'd have your videos in two weeks. So I gave myself a deadline of two weeks. So I was like, I can't mess up, can't mess up. I don't wanna be late. I said to her, I'd have it in two weeks, which would have been the 21st, which was Sunday. I got it to her on Saturday night so that she could review it, we could make any edits, so that by Sunday, it would be done, fully done, like fully completed. When I sent her the videos, I was a nervous AF, because you guys only saw one video, but I did two. I guess she'll post it out later today. I did two videos and I sent it to her and she's, she's watching it, I'm assuming. And I'm just like, oh my God, this is a one minute video. What is taking her so long? So I put down my phone, I go do what I have to do. And I hear my phone going off. So I'm like, oh my God, the moment of truth. The moment of truth. So I open her chat. And this is what I see. <gasps> I don't, I don't think I cried, but y'all know me when I get excited. I, I flipped out. Like I was so, so happy. Like, do you see what she said? Let me bring it up one more time. That just made me feel so good. I called the veto. I FaceTime him. He hates when I'm not wearing a wig and I talk to him like. Oh my god, guys. This is like Godzilla's. It really is this not is like Godzilla's dramatic. awakening right here. Holy shit balls. Why, because, why don't care on my channels? I can't I can't I trust the veto. Look so. at this. They done seen this. This is so scary. Have you seen this before? Y'all see? I FaceTime him. I'm in my bonnet and my pajamas. I'm like, she freaking loved it! I'm living in my purpose! And he, all he was doing was laughing, like... But yeah, like, it really, really made me so, so, so happy that she was happy with the product that I gave her. So, I'm living my truth. I'm coming into myself. And that's what I want for everybody. Everybody that watches my channel, even if you're not subscribed, if you just stumble across a video, I want you to take that from my channel. It's okay to be completely you. Like, it really is. And that's what I want you guys to be. Completely you. That's why my channel is called Completely Shan, because I want to be completely me. I don't want to get, like, all emotional and sentimental, but, yeah. If you are passionate about something, you want to... You want to get into something, so you want to be a farmer, and your parents are telling you, no, it doesn't make sense to be a farmer. You have to be a lawyer. You can be a lawyer if if that's what you feel you need to do, but find a way to do farming. Do you guys, do you understand what I'm saying? Comment below, let me know if what I'm saying is making sense. And I know people are going to be like, oh, I don't have the time, and I'm going to be too tired, and I don't have the resources. You can find a way around anything. Listen, when I started YouTube, I started, I recorded my first video on an iPad. This iPad no longer works, like the color is terrible, but it served its purpose for me to start there. I started doing makeup and stuff because that's what I was watching. I didn't know what I wanted to do on YouTube. I always did want to be an actress, but I think it was fate for me to start a YouTube channel because it's now it's like I have somewhere to put my ideas. Does that make sense? I, I have somewhere to put my ideas. So so yeah like if you wanna be something, if you wanna do something, just do it. Find a way. Just do it. Find a way. Make it happen. Like it's possible. It's possible. Even the word impossible says I'm possible anyways guys so i'm gonna stop rambling i want to give a huge huge shout out to carrie and davito for helping me out with this project like y'all bomb i could not have done this without y'all like i 
from the bottom of my heart, literally, like, I really, really appreciate you. When I up on that stage and and giving my thank you speech, I'm gonna be like, Carrie and Davito were two integral figures in my career. Anyways, and also Jordi, you don't know this, but you believed in me and why do I want to cry? What is wrong with me? You believed in me, you trusted me with your brand and when I gave you the product, you were happy with it and that means so much to me. Like, that motivated me to keep going, like to keep creating. I know that you should find motivation within yourself, but external motivation it plays a factor in in what, what you do as well. And I just really, really want to say thank you for trusting me with your brand. I know brands are really funny things. You spend all this time building a brand and it could be broken like that, but you trusted me with your brand, you believed in me, girl. So yeah, I'm done because I'm feeling like super emotional. I did not want this video to come out super emotional, but that's that's just how I'm feeling. Shout out to DeVito, shout out to Carrie, shout out to Jody of Perfectly Laid by Jay. Y'all check out her Instagram. Like she sells bomb here. So guys, remember it's okay to be completely you. Live in your truth. Walk in your truth. We're not chasing dreams anymore. We're making dreams happen. And we're making dreams come through like that's that's what we're doing we're making dreams come true like yeah <sighs> thank you guys so so much for being a part of my family and subscribing to completely sham and i will definitely see you guys in my next video Bye.